Hi guys, this is Nicole at the Natural Science Museum. I have here a few of our program animals. Today they've been getting a little extra care and love uh, by our central staff coming in to provide them support. And we'd like to let them say hello to you. Uh, right now we have Jake Elvis. Say hi to Jake Elvis. Uh, Jake Elvis is an eastern box turtle, a three-toed box turtle. And you can see, look at his little feet. He's got three little toes on the back feet. That's how he gets his name. If you look at his face, you'll notice that I'm gonna bring him a little closer. There's zooming in. You can see that his eyes are orange and that he has uh, this very beautiful coloration around his face. This is a little more typical of males. Sometimes you do get the orange in the face with the females, but typically it's more of a male characteristic. And beside him is his friend, Lily. Lily is our female. Do you notice that Lily's a little bigger than Jake? Yeah, she's just a little bit bigger. The females do tend to be larger. If you look at the roundness in the shell, that's so that she has room for eggs to pass through. So that's a characteristic of, of the females. And if you look at her face, you notice it's more brown. That helps with camouflaging with leaves on the forest floor. And, uh, and her eyes are more of a brownish too. So everything about her is meant to kind of be discreet and to kind of hide for when it's egg laying season. Now, now, you'll notice that Jake's moving. He's a mover, he's very outgoing, and she's a little more quiet. But I wanna show you something different about them. Okay, I'm gonna hold her flat. It's okay, they, they don't mind, I'm gentle with them. Notice how very flat her shell is. The lower plastron is extremely flat. You want to stay there for me, Lily? Good girl. And uh, with Jake, it's almost like, ooh, hello, baby. It's like a little thumbprint right there. His lower plastron has a little dent in it, and that's used for, um, during mating season, the rated G version of telling you that. <laughs> Uh, our animals are wonderful. Uh, they do a lot of education. Uh, here uh, we have about 100,000 visitors a year. And so you'll see these are some of the animals that you might see in a program at the museum. Um, you might find box turtles in your own yard. So see if you do find them. We do ask though if you find them in the wild to please let wild things stay wild. So repeat after me at home. If you care, Leave it there, all right, let wild things stay wild. Um, these little guys, they're out, they're gonna be laying eggs in uh, maybe your flower beds. You're gonna see them out and about. Uh, you're also going to see them kind of above water levels. They do, they're good swimmers, but they do like to stay above water levels during egg season. What are you doing? It's a race. <laughs> And uh, I have seen people do some um, kind of sad things to turtles where they'll paint their shells or something that's very unhealthy for them. So please never do that. Um, they need the sun to make their shells healthy and a coat of paint would block that for them. Uh, how can you be a turtle hero? Well, if you uh, have them in your yard, just let them live their lives, have a good little life. If you see them crossing a road, get an adult. Uh, but only adult and only if it's a box turtle to help them cross in the direction that they're going. Never put them in the direction they've just come from because they're leaving that space for a reason. They're going from one place to another for a reason. And kind of let wild things stay wild that way. And as always, if you touch anything, you gotta wash your hands. Now I'm not saying you should go touching wild animals, but if you were helping this little guy cross the road, wash your hands immediately because all reptiles um, are egg layers and anything that lays an egg could possibly carry salmonella. So you wanna be very smart about that and keep your hands safe and uh, clean and don't wanna transfer that kind of illness. We're all washing our hands nowadays, that's one extra reason to wash your hands. Uh, so if you have any questions about our animal friends, please like or comment, uh, make a comment in the section here and we'll do our best to answer those questions for you. Uh, right now, we're about to feed them their lunch. So right now, Jake Elvis and Lily say bye. Bye. And thanks for tuning in. Y'all take care. Bye.